Once you have removed the front cover to the instrument cluster, you need to make sure that you mark where all the needles to the gauges are at before you remove them. <clears throat> and you have to make sure in doing so, the needle's gonna move freely and you'll rotate it counterclockwise and you'll feel a stopping point in the stepper motor. Don't push it beyond that point, but you'll feel you'll feel it catch. And then all you need to do is pry each needle off with a fork and proceed to taking the rest apart. Once you've indexed all of your needles, you can go ahead and use a fork to carefully pry off each needle. And do that for however many needles that you have and you'll be ready to pull the backing off. Once you are ready to remove the top portion of the instrument cluster, which is only held to the backing by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different clips. It'll just slide apart. Now, since this is probably recommended in an ESD protected environment, I won't be using one. However, for the stepper motor, there's your stepper motor. You're going to have six or seven of them, depending on which type of vehicle you have. And <clears throat> on the back, You'll see four solder points, one being right here, one here, one here, one here. To remove each stepper motor, all you need to do is use a solder sucker and remove the solder for each joint and remove the stepper motor. Depending on which stepper motor you replace, it is obviously important to pay attention to which position the motor is resting on the board to align through the holes on the front of the instrument cluster where the needles go in. Once you've replaced all the stepper motors that you are going to work with, or maybe one of the little peanut bulbs if one of them burnt out. Just simply place the board in the back side of the case and carefully place the top on. and it just snaps into place. At this point you are ready to put your needles back on and when doing so go ahead and put each needle at the 12 o'clock position. I'll explain here in a second why this is important. I'll go ahead and put all the rest on. Okay, once you have got all your needles back on in the 12 o'clock position, you are going to want to rotate the needle counterclockwise and go ahead and re-index it to your arrow marking. And you'll be able to feel the give in the stepper motor and if uh, 
as you're trying to align it, if you go past your original mark, that's fine. Just rotate it completely counterclockwise until you get back to that point and give it another give it another shot. These things can be a little tricky to line up exactly where your mark was, so just be patient and it's not that big of a deal. Once you've got all your needles comfortably positioned where you had your original indexing marks, you are finished and ready to put the front cover back on. And you'll be able to snap it into place. And then you are complete.